Hey there, Elder Statesman back here again, and today we are going to be doing a Dominaria draft. So it's been a little while since I've drafted Dominaria, and I haven't done it that much. So I went back um, and looked. Marshall Sutcliffe had an article uh, detailing the ten archetypes. Each two man or each two color pair has a, a semi distinct archetype that you try to draft. So that I have an idea of, of what kind of cards I'm looking for when I'm building a deck here. So we are going to jump in. We're going to use... I don't have enough gems to do two, um, two more drafts. But if I win... Well, I'll get 100 gold for sure. Uh, or, sorry, 50 gems for sure. If I get to two wins, um, that'll be enough to pay for my next draft with gems and hopefully I do a little bit better than that I want to put off having to spend gold to do a draft for as long as possible so we're going to confirm here again as free to play account we're going to look for any mythics or rares um, that are constructor worthy and draft those even if it's not um, uh, for the deck that we're using um, dread shade no, it doesn't jump out of me. So, right away, Eldest Reborn jumped out of me. Um, this is a really good card. Um, let's see here. There's really not that much jumping out of me. Uh, no. That one can be okay. It's really just Eldest Reborn. So, we're going to grab that. Um, there's a black, red... A sacrifice. Um, <laughs> that'd be good if I didn't already have four. Um, there's a black red sacrifice archetype. Um, uh, this provides a way to bring creatures that you've sacrificed back into play um, and also removal. Uh, let's see, blue black um, value control. Um, it's looking for removal, card drawing. Um, this one looks pretty good. Kill off creatures. Um, and let's see, sapperling. There's black green sapperlings that would would work well with that. Um, so let's see, your wild onslaught that goes good with the black green sapperling deck. Rat colony, nothing great. I mean, it's a decent card to have, but um, fire intervention seems really good. We're going to sacrifice the black red sacrifice aggro. It's also splashable, um, and it is removal. So it, I, I'm thinking it really comes down to wild onslaught or fire intervention. And I think wild onslaught's really it's usable in green, white, and green, black. But you do have to. Right, I think this is leaves me a little bit more open. Um, the two removal spells, um, both of which are splashable. Um, so I could just throw them in in a lot of different archetypes. So I'm going to go with the Fiery Intervention. Oh, well that's going to be a good choice. Garn of the Blood Flame. Turn your hand all creature cards in your graveyard that were put there from anywhere this turn. Other creatures you control have haste. So basically you... It's flash. It has flash, too. That's important. So in response to somebody killing a creature, you can drop her down, bring that creature back to life. Um, so we're definitely going to grab that. So we're going to go into the Black Red Sacrifice aggro. So we're looking for um, sacrifice outlets, creatures that um, like to be sacrificed, um, and we want uh, creature removal. So something like Fungal Infection seems pretty good. Um, Flame of Keld, a good card. I don't know if it's going to work with what we already have. So we're going to go Fungal Infection here. Um, Stronghold Confessor. This one, this one can be good. I mean, a 3-3 Menace is a good solid creature. Calgo's Skin Witch is good, uh, um, good card value. Um, if you can um, get your opponent to discard two cards. But you've got to get to six mana quick because they might not have that many cards left in their hand. I'm going to go the Confessor. Um, Blood Tile Candle is expensive, but it is removal. 
but I'm going to go with this. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so historic spell. Okay. Put some goblin. Kicker. Divest. I don't really want to do that. Uh, demonic figure. When a chance creature dies, return the card to its owner's hand. That's not bad. Run amok's good for aggressive, but I think I want the Bloodstone Goblin. Got a lot of heavy, heavy mana cost spells down here. A lot of five drops. I want some earlier plays. Um, Keldon Warlord. It's to put a lore counter on target saga. Eh, I do have a saga. Um, Dark Bargain. I think this is a way to put uh, some cards in the graveyard for Eldest Reborn to bring back. It's card drawing. So Drudge Sentinel seems good. That seems like. Oh, which Cheaner's Torment. Two damage to each opponent, and you gain two life. Does that twice, and then create a nightmare. Where X is half your life, round it up, and it deals X damage. Ooh, so you lose half your life. Um, Thalid Omnivore um, is a good way to sacrifice stuff. Um, Droid Sentinel. Indestructible, it's not bad. Um, I'm thinking the Omnivore. I will take another Stronghold Confessor. Um, from strike. Now, we're going to go with the Rat Collie. So right now, these are basically four drops. And I've got the Thalid Omnivore's four drop. And Dark Bargain. So I've got like four four drops and three five drops. So I need some earlier plays. So we're going to get the Rat Colony. Well, I thought I was going to get the Rat Colony. There we go. Um... Blessing. I don't have any legendaries. I want to be sacrificing a creature, so I don't really want to pump them up. Um, I'm going to put get the vest port. It's going to go inside board. Skirk Prospector or Fire Elemental. I think Fire Elemental is more likely to get played. Um, turn target permanent. You control. Okay. Try to Arvin. Yeah, we're going to hate draft that. Demonic Vigor. Um, I'll take this, just because it keeps my good creatures alive. Grand Warlord Rada. Not something we need. Soul Salvage seems good. For us, Skitu Lava Mancer, eh. Not a lot else for us in this pack. We're going to get the Soul Salvage. Knight of Malice seems very strong. Um, that's a no. That's a no for now. Yeah, nothing else. That's going to be the best card for us. Warcry Phoenix. Uh, I like that. Bringing creatures back. Oh, Vicious Offering. So, removal comes first. Much as I like the Phoenix, I'm taking the removal. Uh, Wind Graced Acolyte Flyer. Or Goblin War Chief. Uh, I do have a Goblin, but it's double red. Um, I'm going to go with the Wind Graced Acolyte. It's a Flyer. It's a good way to end the game. Seismic Shift. No. Rampaging Cyclops is not bad. But again, I've got a bunch of four drops. I think I want the two drop. Fungal Infection. Oh, right. Chainer's Torment? Oh, no. Soul Sav Salvage. I think that's the play. Final Party. What is this? Search library for two cards. Put one in your hand, the other into your graveyard. Then shuffle your library. Um, I don't really need the Lava, ri lava Runner. Really heavy black at the moment. Let me grab this. I could see 
something where I grab like Garna and Eldest Reborn and I put Garna in the graveyard and use Eldest Reborn to kill a creature and bring the Garna back to life. Um, at the moment it's going to the sideboard. But it's least potential. Devonic Vigor going to the sideboard. Fire Elemental. Sideboard for now. Oh yeah. If I need filler, I'll, I'll use it. Um, Journey Mage. Between the two, has a higher power, easier to cast. Um, I'm not going to play that. Okay. I really like seeing a second Eldest Reborn. Um, we don't need the squee. Um, yeah, second Eldest Reborn seems really good. Fight with Fire seems really good as well. Uh, better than all these. It's removal. I like removal. Um, what is this? Sing your pure blood. Flying when a creature dealt damage, put a plus one counter, and it deals two damage to target creature. So. It is a good late game card and a potential card I can reanimate with Eldest Reborn. There is a vicious offering though. This is early enough that I can hope this might come back. The vicious offering is probably just the better pick though. All right. Yeah, we target player one image now. Kelden Raider, 4-3, four, 4-4, four, four, not bad. This guy's a 4-4 four, for four, 4, though. As long as he isn't double blocked. Um, I kind of like the Warcry Phoenix. Has a potential to see that or Soul Salvage. Do you have a lot of This is a good one that I could uh, sacrifice stuff to, so I'm gonna go with the work right, Phoenix. Now let's Soothsayer, sacrifice creature draw card. I like that. Feral Abominations, not bad as a six drop. Five five death touch. I think it's going to be a soothsayer. The draw card ability is really good. Yargle, 9 3. Okay. I feel like with enough removal, this actually has a chance. So we're going to go with that. Um, Flame of Keld. I don't know if I'll play it, but I'm definitely going to grab it. Um, Soul Salvage. Go with that. Uh, Skirk Prospector. The Abomination. Want another two drop. Turn that card, we'll get Demonic Bigger. Abomination. All right, um, we've got to make a lot of cuts. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut everything except the creature removal. So we're looking at 15 creatures. Um, we're going to start with, for sure, Garna. 
Um, I'm honestly not sure how good how good the Warcry Phoenix is. If that's a must start, I feel like the Wind Graced Acolyte is a must start. So that's two five drops. I want definitely want Knight of Malice as a two drop. Both of these seem pretty good. Let's go with one each of the sacrifice guys. So three drops. Got a G2 Journey Mage. It's kind of only three drop, uh, two drops. Okay, that gives me one, two, three, four, two drops. So we're looking for th some three and four drops here. I think the confessors come in as fours, two soul salvages as threes. So we're really at four here. Five, four, four, so three drop, four drop, kind of like Dark Bargain has the four and Soul Salvage is the three, does that give us enough creatures? We want work right, Phoenix. What do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've only got nine creatures right now, so I definitely don't want to add any more spells. Little rat colony. And Feral Abomination will get a large drop in there. Get the 5-5. Five, five. Okay. We'll see how this works. What do I have for a creature move? I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Get eight creature removal spells. So we'll see how this works. So we're gonna jump into a couple games here. Hopefully they leave Dominaria draft up 
for at least a couple weeks so I can get a few more drafts in, get some more practice. That's really the best way to learn how to draft is just to practice. Okay, well, 3-5 drop. I can't play a single card in this hand. I got a mulligan. Much I'd like to have those old street boards. Okay, this is a little bit better. I at least have both colors of mana. And I've got something I can play on the early turns. Keep. Um, I'm going to keep that. Turn. Red, blue, probably a wizard deck. something they can play here. No. What? Extra land? That's fine. Basically means I have no dead draws really. I'm either going to get a land which gets me to uh, my two five drops in my hand or I get something that well no there's still a couple five drops left I could draw. But for the most part, I can cast almost anything I draw. Okay. Definitely got to take that guy out. I'll let him hit me with that 1-1 one, one every turn, but 3 damage is a little bit too much. Hmm, there we go, four drop. Wouldn't mind to land now. This could work really well with the Garna, potentially. And late in the game when you got a bunch of mana, you can sacrifice a whole bunch of creatures to the Omnivore, make it huge, and then use the garden to bring all those creatures back. Good. Um, we'll get the uh, Acolyte into play. This will make Soul Savage potentially a little bit better. Might uh, put a couple creatures in there that I can bring back. Let's see, what did it do? Nope, just Fungal Infection and land. It's actually not that bad. I don't mind. That's sorcery, so if I'm going to do it, I need to do it now, but I'm going to attack first and see if he kills my Acolyte, and I can bring it back with Garna.
Get rid of that guy. Do I want a soul salvage? I could get a rat colony and a omnivore. Which isn't bad. It does use my mana more effectively. So I'm going to do that. What? Oh, man. I clicked wrong and only got one of the two. Hey, when I make mistakes like that. Okay, we'll play the Omnivore. Send in the team. <clears throat> Okay, I think the best play is to sack the Acolyte to keep the Omnivore alive. He's then going to probably block the Arcanist into the Omnivore. And then I play the Garner and bring everything back into play. Oh, to bring him into play brings your hand. Oh, well, that's okay. So I, uh, let's see, nine, oh, eight. Okay, well, I'm going to play the Abomination Hasted. I draw a land, I can play both of these in the same turn, hasted. Good 
Good card. Do the flyer. Oh, that hurts. Both the Eldest Reborns. So next turn I attack with both of these guys, and that might be enough to finish him off, just swing with the team. I'm going to say his way to kill Garna. What's he going after? Ooh, he kicked it. Wow. That was really effective for him. Okay, we're going to play Omnivore and the Journey Mage. Okay, he's going to probably tap the Omnivore. If not, I'll attack with it. Yep. block this way. Doing it all to the soothsayer. Yep, it's fine. <clears throat> Let's see what I 
get here. That could matter. She's going to tap the Omnivore again. Okay, so... Let's see what this guy gets. If he gets Menace or Double Strike. He got Menace. Alright, so... We're going to shrink him. We're going to block the Scholar. And then I'm going to swing back for the win because he's all tapped out and has no cards. Wow, I really thought he was going to win that game. Yes, all right. Whew, that's a close one. I thought he had me when he played that uh, that fight with fire and did the one-sided wrath of God against me. Hmm. Rip digger. Okay. Should be able to get at least one more game in on this video. I'm going to keep this. I, especially if I can get to five mana. Both these are going to be really good. Um, and I'd rather wait and play that as a four drop as well. So I really want to try to get a land. And then maybe a two drop or a three drop. Something they can play. Here's the land. So I like that. Give me a three drop. Not a three drop. Not bad, but I'm going to play the, uh, the Menace guy here.
That's good. infection up. Normally I want to drop the Elders Reborn down right now because there aren't any creatures in the graveyard to bring back. It just killed the scout. And then most likely that'd be what I'd have to uh, what I'd have to uh, bring back from the graveyard. So I'm going to wait till I have, either I have something good in the graveyard or my opponent has something good in the graveyard. Soothsayer. What's he doing? Is he going to kill that Soothsayer? He is. Do this just in case. Five five. Well, that's nice. Um, play the abomination. I'm willing to trade the confessor for the envoy. Might make the Elder Reborn a little bit better. It gives me a, uh, a halfway decent creature, and it means the Mammoth Spire might be the one that dies. Access. The fungal infection could make a big difference in the combat math. I want to have the man available to use that. We're going to send with the team. him to make some decisions here on how he wants to do this. Um, I definitely want to kill the man with spider. Shrink that. I 
and I'm going to get rid of the confessor too. that back and not the mammoth spider he needs the mana fixing the color fixing well we're just going to attack with the team See what he's got. I'm gonna wait. Eldritch Born just gonna kill the Gitu Chronicler right now. And I'm gonna leave Garna up in case he's got some sort of sweeper spell. Hey, he's definitely looking for another color. Black? Hmm. Alright, he's got a vicious offering. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to play the Elder Reborn. Which means... Let's see, 6, 7, 8. That if he uses the Vicious Offering, he's going to have to sacrifice his Llanowar Envoy to do it. He'll lose both his creatures. I'd lose my Feral Abomination, but I'd still have two creatures. I'd drop him to three and then... Make him discard a card next turn. I've got the Garna. So. Yeah, we're just going to do it right now. Okay, we're going to break this video up. I maybe could squeeze a third game in, um, but even if I did, I potentially would still have to do a third draft video. So we're just going to stop right here. We'll jump into the next game. So uh, I'll be back in just a minute.